Everyone knows about climate change, and a lot of people have strong and unwavering opinions on the matter. What these opinions are based on, however, is arguably a lot less sturdy. The media have reported relentlessly on the issue since the 1900s, and in recent times, the issue has been one of the most universally debated and publicised topics. The International Panel on Climate Change, or the IPCC, has released statistics projecting drastic rates of geographic destruction caused by an increase in temperature. Climate sceptics, as they're called, have claimed that these statistics are untrue, and that the IPCC and the media have played up these reports to make the repercussions seem more alarming, due to political motives and, in the media's case, to sell papers. The media wants to sell a story, it wants to alarm people, so it sells newspapers and gets people to watch TV, so it goes for one side of the story, and it generally goes for the one that's most radical, which scares people, and it's uh, selling the community that so there's something to be worried about, and uh, from our point of view, there is very little to be worried about. Some climatologists argue that if the IPCC did have political motives, it would be to downplay the risk, as they are funded by governments who are in favour of less economically straining measures. It's not actually possible to politicise the science, it's only possible to politicise the message that comes out from bodies such as the IPCC. And the strong indication from the science is that what it has tended to do is water down the, the science and make it um, less scary than it really is. And I think if you, if you read the science and you find out what the measured impacts are already and how quickly the climate is changing compared to what we might expect, then it's all at the upper end of what we would have expected on the basis of something like the IPCC report. Most sceptics claim that while the Earth is experiencing climate change, it has nothing to do with humans. These climate sceptics have always received heavy criticism for opposing popular opinion. CBS reporter Scott Pelley once compared climate sceptics to Holocaust deniers. The media has treated sceptics as a bit of a joke up to about, probably about a year ago. And then it's sort of gradually um, waning from being a joke to them becoming um, someone that's a bit more credible. The media is playing a really big role in misleading people by unreasonable reporting on the issue. They're trying to try and present a balanced, kind of unbiased argument, but it's completely unreasonable to present, to give equal time to completely unequal arguments. As Scott Pelley also pointed out, There becomes a point in journalism where striving for balance becomes irresponsible. This media portrayal has created somewhat of a new plight for the layman. Who and what to believe? The relevant question is no longer, does global warming exist? All scientists agree that climate change is occurring. The question we should be asking is, is global warming anthropogenic? That is, is it human caused? And if so, to what extent? It only takes a, a comet to crash into the earth or the pass by and drop some ash in the atmosphere and we can go into another ice age. Or it takes a volcano to erupt and that can turn us into another ice age. So. Um, whether man is here or not, it's not going to affect the climate. So the planet Earth has experienced climate change throughout its history, but what we're seeing today in modern times is a very rapid change in the climate, and this time uh, scientists strongly suspect that humans are at the root cause of this change, and that's through the burning of fossil fuels. Without scientific media or public consensus on the issue, there is still no blatantly obvious side to take. Both sides are privy to disbelief. Perhaps sceptics are really deniers. There's such a volume of evidence now that points to climate change, points to human-caused climate change, from so many directions, so compellingly, that to refuse to accept it becomes simply eccentric, crankery. And uh, I think the people who term themselves climate sceptics don't really deserve this name. I think they should be called deniers because what they are doing is denying overwhelmingly established scientific fact. Perhaps the only solution to this new layman's plight is for the layman to look up the facts for himself. And we're not here to be practical, it's a highly philosophical debate. To interpret the data to do this, the layman would have to be a scientist. So perhaps that's the answer. But this leads to another layman's plight and another question. 
Is the layman willing to become a scientist?